Okay, hi everyone. I uh, hope you've had a good week. Uh, Andrew and I are here having a, a coffee in the in the science cafe, uh, getting those caffeine levels up again <laughs> after a pretty busy week. And she's been a pretty crazy month here in soil science, Andrew. It, it has. It has. There's field trips all over the place, uh, along with just the everyday teaching and the stuff that we have to do. So. What's been your busiest moment? Well, I mean, I've decided actually we should just make March the informal sort of profile description month. So, of course, you guys went out to Northern and you dug 12 pits uh, amongst your groups. But last weekend I was out at the University Farm at near Pigeley with Matthias Leopold's unit third year unit, a land assessment unit, and they would have done at least 15 profile descriptions, so 15 pits, plus even more saw auger descriptions. So yeah, it's been pretty busy, and I know you've been out in the field as well with your students. I have, so last Friday we were out in the field with environmental assessment, which is one of the environmental science core units, and so there were 70 odd of us out there sampling mainly water and sediments but we did take some auger profiles as well down to about a metre in acid sulphate soil so yeah, kind of an interesting environment and it's, yes it's been a very busy month. Yeah, yeah so and so it's something that you guys can all look forward to next year um, when you start your third year units. More mm. field work and more hands-on experience which is really what you need in your respective discipline areas. So that's, uh, that's what's been happening uh, out in the field, Andrew, but what can people look forward to uh, in the lectures and what has been happening in the lectures? Well, first of all, just remind you, not, not everybody's been to lectures, so we've been catching up on uh, soil texture and then looking at soil structure, making that distinction and looking at what forms structure in soils and why it's important. Next week, we will start to Actually, this week um, we have started soil water already. We're going to try and finish that next week. Um, so, soil water retention and the movement of water in soil. So, related but concepts that need to be treated separately. Plus, you're going to be doing labs, right? Mm. So, the labs are all related to soil physics as well. So, it's straight ahead with soil physics for the next uh, three weeks in the labs uh, and around about the same in lectures. And um, you'll be rotating between the different lab activities that we have. Yeah, soil physics is in really incredibly important in terms of helping us understand how soil water moves through our soil profiles. And I have to admit, Andrew, it was one of the modules in my undergraduate um, studies that I struggled with the most. Um, but I, can't, I got, got on top of it. Um, so next week I'll probably give you all some tips on, on how I did that. Uh, because I know some of you out there might be finding soil physics a bit tricky, but trust me, with some um, extra resources, you can get on top of it. Absolutely. I, I like teaching soil physics. It's, it wasn't what I started off doing, but it, it's nice to see natural phenomena being described by some fairly simple algebraic equations. I, I kind of like that. It's very satisfying. Uh, and it, once we, you get your head around the maths, it actually makes it a bit easier to understand the material. Yeah. And the maths is not hard. No, no, it's not too hard. All right, so um, look, Andrew, I think I'm going to finish my coffee and Absolutely. let these guys go. So have a great weekend, everyone, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.